Hello and welcome to the Cranky Old Gamer. I uh, just want to do a little preface for this video. Um, I actually recorded this a while ago. This was a Black Friday purchase, so I think I re recorded this at like the beginning of December, but I've noticed that unboxing videos have not really gone over too hugely. Like for the most part, uh, I think I'm gonna drop unboxing videos from the general schedule. So without further ado, here I have an unboxing video for you for Pandemic Cthulhu. Hello and welcome to the Cranky Old Gamer. Uh, today we're going to be doing another unboxing. And this was yet another Black Friday purchase that uh, I'm really excited about. Uh, Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu. I am a fan of Cthulhu. I have, I have the whole Lovecraftian mythos. Uh, I've been reading those since high school, and I, I'm a sucker for it. I am. I like people are like, oh my god, another Cthulhu game because there's so many Cthulhu games out there. But don't care. I, it's it's a game seller for me. Like Cthulhu, take it. Okay. Um, so maybe I'm part of the problem. I don't care. I get awesome games like this. Uh, as far as Pandemic goes, Pandemic was one that I resisted for a long time. I, it just didn't look fun. I was like, eh, all my, my gamers, you know, at my table, but they're like, dude, we got to play Pandemic. Ever. It's so much fun. I was like, eh, no, it just doesn't look very fun. Finally, as you can see, right here, I bought it. I was wrong. The game is awesome. I like Pandemic quite a bit. It's actually... Uh, I have the mobile version on my tablet. Play the crap out of it. So, um, But we are here to talk about Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu. So let's crack it open, shall we? All right. So here we are with Reign of Cthulhu from Z-Man Games. Uh, looks great on the back. Looks like we got some minis. Um, let's see. Beings of ancient, bizarre intelligence known as the Old Ones are stirring within their vast cosmic prisons. If they awaken to the world, it'll unleash an age of madness, chaos, and destruction upon the very fabric of... It's every Cthulhu game ever made. That's fine. Um, I'm not playing this for the originality. Once again, um, this was... A purchase from my favorite local store here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, cool Stuff, Inc. You guys probably know of them. They're one of the most famous online retailers. They're only here in Orlando, and I get to go to them. Um, come on. Go open up. I do kind of question... Is it just me or is that Teddy Roosevelt? Just saying. All right, so what do we have in here? We have a very large, tall book. Um, ooh, pretty artwork. I like it. Here's hoping that it explains the rules well. Uh, I guess we'll find out. We have a series of tokens. Uh, swirlies and very detailed pentagrams. We have our map. Unsurprisingly, it is not a map of the world so much as the Lovecraftian world. We have Dunwich, Arkham, Innsmouth, and Kingsport. All right, very cool. It is very, let's see if I can get the reflection of the light off there. Uh, very, very nice artwork. Very fine detail, very cool, I like that. All right, so set that to the side here. Um, yay, custom dice. Wait, since when does Pandemic have dice? Other than the cure. Uh, Insanity Swirl, Assassin's Creed, Googly Eyes, Blank, And I guess we have two swirls. Okay. Miniatures. I don't know why I like miniatures. I just do. Shut up. 
Um, man in pants. A man with a hat and a gun. Uh, twin brothers. A woman in a hat and a gun. Who kind of looks like Carmen San Diego. Careful, she'll turn you into a newt. And man in pants. The Monopoly guy. And a flapper who looks like she her catchphrase is, Won't somebody please think of the children? All right. So there's the good guy miniatures. Now, personally, I think every game should come with a bag of Shoggoths. Aren't they pretty? Ah! That's just one giant mouth. I think they're supposed to be cultists, but really they just look like blueberry Jawas. There's a whole giant bag of them. So it'll be interesting because, you know, gone are the tiny little cubes. Got a lot of different cards here. Uh, this is going to be your player deck. And I think these are your old ones right here. Let's crack them open. Oh, how am I going to get this open without my teeth? I need a knife. Well, all right, so we're not opening those. We're going to open these, though. Magi oh, these are, okay, here's your rolls. There's the meh. magician, uh, hunter, doctor, occultist, detective, reporter, and driver. And then, come on. Uh, we've got some location, 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 Innsmouth, Kings, Port, Port Dunwich, 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 uh, Arkham, Evil Stirs, uh, Relics, The Warded Box, The Elder Sign, Alhazred's Flame, Alien Carving, Bizarre Statue, okay, it's gonna, Migo, I, I, it drives me nuts, like, when people review Cthulhu games and pronounce things wrong, um, uh, but I keep hearing people, it's not mythos, it's mythos, as in myth, mythology, not mythos. A Song of Kadath. Location, location, location. Okay, so those are all your location cards. They're basically like your city cards. I'm guessing relics are kind of like... Um, your event cards from Pandemic. Hold on, I am bound and determined to get this open now. Got it, wait, hold on. Maybe. Aha! So, Yog sothoth should the mail. Haster, Azatoth, Ithaqua, Nalathotep, Dagon, Cthulhu. I don't know this one. Sathagwa, Yig, Shubnigarath, uh, Atlak Naka, Nacha. I don't know this one. This one's new too, at least to me. I've read quite a bit, but... Uh, oh, and these are just your action guides. Okay. So, there we have it. That is your... Ooh, ooh, hey. Guess what I can do? Since I repurposed... Ah. Wow, those are in there good. There's some high-quality tokens here. Yeah. So high quality they're escaping. 
One just rolled off. Oh, two have rolled off. They have been returned to the fold. As I've said in videos before, I just, I find it so calming, I guess. Not therapeutic, but I just, I really like popping out tokens. Oh, that fits very nicely. There's like a lip here that grabs the board. Come on. Gently, gently. Ta-da! All right, so uh, yet another game I'm really excited to take to the table. My group has always really enjoyed Pandemic ever since I finally changed my mind and gave it a shot. I, I'll admit when I'm wrong. Uh, big Cthulhu fan. My group are kind of Cthulhu fans. I always feel bad because like I'm the only one in the group that's like a fan. Uh, the rest of my group are like, I, I, I know it from the internet. That's about it. So for me, this is like, ah, yeah. For them, it's like, all right, cool. That's a good game. Um, actually, uh, don't even get me started on, let's see, where is it behind my, right here. Cthulhu Gloom. I'll do a video on it or something. Anyway, Pandemic, Reign of Cthulhu, Watch in the Future. Uh, I will be having a review video. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, please check out my Patreon. Uh, it, it'll be one of the end cards at the end if you want to support me. Uh, even if a couple dollars a month, it'll get your name in the credits and it'll help out a growing channel. Uh, check out my Instagram, The Cranky Old Gamer. We'll see you later.